in a segment mm -hmm. that started mm -hmm. with Ethan Page in the ring with no music. Ethan Page with a jobber entrance. Yeah. After you make him lose a hook in a way that I wasn't too fond of, making him look silly. Give him the job mm. entrance, leading to one of the biggest parts of the night. I'm so happy I didn't let you spoil it for me. <laughs> mm. That was so cool. That's why when I heard that Osseo's open was there, I did. I was like, you know what? That doesn't really feel like anything crazy. Yeah, I can I'm tell say, him yeah, that Yeah, you can part. tell me that because I've seen them there recently. I'm going to be like, okay, hell yeah. Because Aussie opens the shit. And I want to see more of them. I want to see Aussie open an FTR real soon. Real, real soon. Ooh. If I don't, if I'm not mistaken, Aussie open. Uh, we'll it, talk about it. We can, I, I'm getting, I'm going to get too far into Aussie open now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're going to talk about a tag we'll team about tag and teams. a very legendary tag team here in just a moment. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. Well, we're we're definitely gonna talk about tag teams. Because you know, Ethan Page just talked about the firm being a rough spot. You know, between how we lost to Hook, Stokely still being hurt at the hands of Hook, mm -hmm. Matt Hardy bashing him overhead, all the stuff that's gone down. Well, eventually, yeah. Cassidy and Hardy come out, and Cassidy's like, "You played yourself." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isaiah Cassidy always gets like a, a good little line or something every every time he's on the microphone. I appreciate it. His personality in AEW very much feels like it should be Kevin Hart, you know, like the hype guy who kind of like punctuates things with like energy. Kind of, yeah. There's something that Kevin Hart kind of does plays a lot, yeah. Like you'll have the rock doing his interviews, kind of talking, talking, then then come and jerk hat jabs, jabs. <laughs> I could definitely see that with him and Matt Hardy, because Matt Hardy is definitely the here. I'm gonna give you guys what the story is, and Isaiah is like, "Hey y'all, I want a party." <laughs> shots, shots, <laughs> shots. <laughs> Great to the theme song, but uh. Yeah, Matt starts talking about the fine period of the contracts because Ethan Page lost a hook. They get to do some kind of tag team match, naming partners and the conditions, so that way they'll be free and clear of their contract. Mm -hmm. Page likes to remind them that the firm is bigger than just him and Stokely and our favorite Big Bill and Lee Moriarty attack yeah. from behind. Large William. Uh, what happens to Large William? <laughs> well, uh, Large William, he um, he gets attacked by Hook. I do love how they tease the suplexes, but with Hook on him, like he eventually yeah. gets it. Like when they had the tag team match and everything. I just want to know when that boring one-on-one -on -one match is going to be between those two. Who did big? Bill face one on one. Was it Orange Cassidy? He faced somebody. She's I can't remember how it happened. Cassidy. So maybe that's one I'm trying to think of because yeah, generally pretty boring. But yeah. but Orange Cassidy is Orange Cassidy though. Hook was it enough to take out the remaining members of the firm because the numbers game got to him. But mm -hmm. then I got to hear your reaction when a certain theme song hit yeah yeah the hardy boy music hits but matt's already in the ring so you know what that means <laughs> jeff's back baby <laughs> and he I'm didn't like... even dance before he came down to the ring this time he was all business <laughs> he had his fancy chair <laughs> yeah the closest thing he well, did to a dance this time was like show everybody the chair like look at my chair look at my custom yeah, chair he's like this is my chair it's, sp it's special for me all right Everybody ass whooped. <laughs> he lays out everybody in the ring and does a swanton bomb on Ethan Page. 
I'm not sure if I heard this terminology before, but after it happened, they called his version of the Twist of Fate, which this time landed like more like a stunner. Mm -hmm. uh, commentary called it a Twist of Stunning Fate. Oh, or is that maybe something he's going to be doing differently? Maybe. I just no. don't know if I heard it before. I think mm. I've seen him do it into a stunner before because his twist of fate was always the worst of the two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Matt's definitely was always better. But uh but Jeff's back, hey man. Um just thought you should know. Now I wanna be positive. I do wanna be positive about it. Obviously all the childhood memories, all the iconic stuff. We've gotten to enjoy Jeff Hardy. That being said, it's hard for me not to think about all the negatives that have happened in his life when he's in the ring, or at least on tour. Hmm. I hope yeah. this time he got it right. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm, I feel like, I feel like it's gonna be all right. I feel like it's gonna be fine. I don't know. I feel like two things. It felt like it was kind of like a stricter approach to it this time, like a more committed yeah. approach, or it, it, at least it seems from the outside looking in. Mm -hmm. Um, not that I'm saying even like just even looking at him, like he looks like he's in better physical shape too. I'm not saying he would listen to this guy for help. I don't know if they would have a really good conversation at all whatsoever. But maybe somebody who's been there and done that successfully, like Box, like he can reach out. I don't know. Just hopefully there's the support system and everything's good. I don't I don't want to ever, ever see anything along those lines again. News from him. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's been just too much I'll put it this way I was fine if I never saw him again yeah with that last one and that's been yeah and I I mean yeah if, if that would that's what it meant for him to not be a, a drunken drunk mm -hmm. all the time then yeah but hey if he's back and he's got it under control all for it because I am I would love to get to see him and Matt in their careers together. Like, that would be perfect. All right, so the next time we have a big, crazy tag team match, I want the Young Bucks. I want the Hardys. Mm -hmm. I want FTR. That last spot could go a lot of ways. But right now, I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it probably, Aussie Open. Aussie open dog. 